And we're rolling. Wait, you, you only have the top hat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Have you ever thought that your display just had too many pixels? Uh, no. Sorry, what did you say? I have literally never thought that. Okay, wait, hold on, I'll catch- well, too bad. Today we're building a 16 by 16 pixel matrix and I'm gonna walk you through how to do it, bucko. We're skipping step one. Step two, get all of the pieces laser cut and then assemble it just like this, easy. Step three is you're gonna wanna measure three millimeters and then cut about mm, 700 of those wires, strip them and then pre-tin each single one of them. Jesus Christ. Good, now take a breather cause uh, we're done with all the easy steps. Now you're going to want to disassemble each one of the LED PCBs, glue them down, pre-tin them, and then once you're done with that, just solder, I don't know, every single wire to it, and uh, it should look like this when you're done. Then take the three wires from the LEDs, attach them to the microcontroller of choice, add the metal frame, and uh, then we just add the plexiglass, and oh, look at that, we're done. Okay, so we've built the matrix. We have this cool ass thing, but how do we use it? How does it work? Well, the first thing to note is the LEDs are arranged in a kind of a snake or serpentine line pattern, which kind of looks like this. So you see that it's not the way most images are displayed, uh, which is way nicer for wiring, but when it comes to actually programming it, it is a nightmare. So what do we have to do? Well, the first thing we have to do is look at what how images actually store the data. Images store the data like so. Um, or you just have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you can kind of see it's in kind of how English looks. So that's how English stores the data. So for a second, how do we map it over? Well, let's just take a slice of it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, you can kind of see how everything is mapped over. So we have, you know, 1 going to 1, 1, 2 going to 2, and etc. And so it's almost like every second line of the image is flipped and reversed. And there you have it. Now you can just load your hex data onto the image. And if you want to look good on video, just throw a piece of black acrylic on it and it looks fantastic. And there we have it, your very own pixel matrix. So this is my first video on the channel. If you guys are interested, please subscribe. All of that jazz I've never done before. Let me know what you guys want me to build. I can do a lot of coding electrical stuff. So I'm interested to see what kind of projects you want. And if you guys want more like animations or how to connect this to Twitch or other internet applications, I can do a follow up video on that. And I'm going to show you some outtakes now for my stupid intro video. So enjoy. Have you ever thought that your display had too many pixels? Well, probably not. I got a product for you. Jerry. Jerry, where the f is the product? It should be under the table. It's not under the table. I'm I'm I'm, I'm literally under the table. I put it under the table. <laughs> Jerry, where the f where is it? Oh oh oh, I see it. It's right here. God damn it, Jerry! <laughs> Fucking <COVID. clears throat> We're live. Oh shit. <clears throat> All right, so this pixel matrix is 16 by 16 pixels. That's a total of 256 pixels. That's insane. Can you imagine playing Modern Warfare 2 on this bad boy right here?